Eight six trapezoids. Hopefully you remember generally what a trapezoid is because I know you've studied them before, but today we're going to learn a little bit about, more about their properties. A trapezoid is a quadrilateral with exactly one set of parallel sides. The characteristics of a trapezoid is, if you look at the picture, we have the green sides are parallel to each other, the red sides are not. Then we have four base angles, the two at the top that are in orange and the two at the bottom that are in purple. That is the characteristics or that is the definition of a trapezoid. We do not know anything about the lengths of the sides of a trapezoid. We just know that two of them are parallel. Just because they're parallel does not mean they have the same length. Next we have the isosceles trapezoid. An isosceles trapezoid is simply a trapezoid with the two congruent legs. So we still have the parallel sides, which are the top side and then the bottom side. Those are parallel. However, we know nothing about their lengths. But we do know that the left leg and the right leg are congruent. That's what makes it an isosceles trapezoid. We have one pair of parallel sides that are crossing each other and one pair of parallel legs that are also across from each other. If a trapezoid is isosceles, then the diagonals are congruent. This is only true for an isosceles trapezoid. So an isosceles trapezoid, as you remember here, opposite sides are parallel and then opposite sides are congruent. In this case only, we have an isosceles trapezoid and then the diagonal AC and the diagonal BD are congruent to each other. This is not true for other trapezoids. It is only true for the isosceles trapezoid. If a trapezoid is isosceles, then the base angles are congruent. Again, this is only true for isosceles trapezoids. So we have the opposite sides parallel, and then the two sides that are congruent to each other. In this case now, we have angle A is congruent to angle B. Those two base angles are congruent. When we talk about base angles, we talk about the base angles that are on the same parallel line. Also, angle D is congruent to angle C. So the other two base angles are congruent. Be careful when you do this that you don't use the two angles that are on the congruent side. So angle A and D are not equal to each other. They are not congruent. A and B are, D and C are, but not AD and not BC. Lastly, we have the median. The median of a trapezoid is a segment with endpoints that are the midpoints of the legs. So as we look at the picture here, here we have the leg, I just traced it in blue. That's the leg. And at its midpoint, I will create a median. So we have the two midpoints of our sides of our trapezoid, of our isosceles trapezoid. If we connect the midpoints there, we have a median. So remember, median is very similar to middle. Facts about the median of a trapezoid. First, the median is parallel to the bases. So if we have base 1 and base 2 that are parallel to each other, we can tell that because of the red arrows. The median, which is through the middle of the trapezoid, is also parallel, noted by the red arrow. Also, the median is the average length of the two bases. If I take the length of base 1 plus the length of base 2 divided by 2, I'll find the length of the median. Base 1 plus, plus base 2 divided by 2 equals the length of the median. It is the average of the lengths 
of the bases. That is it on trapezoids. If you have any questions, make sure and bring them back to me in class.